4 to the SRI. SRI. Okay, so we so yeah, so we the, the subject means main topics uh, we are covering in this course is like in the advanced SRIOV, MRIOV, and the NBME. These three topics are cover, will be covered. And before I start SRIOV, MRIOV, and VME, I will introduce some of the issues that we have we, we, we were facing and why we added the SRIOV. Means, uh, yeah, if something is added, we need to know the reason behind that. Yeah, if something is some, if someone is telling you we are giving you this solution in the PCI, you you should be asking this question: Why are you introducing this solution right now? Why it was not there prior priorly, and what is the reason behind it? And who who is a customer? Who who is your target? And is this a performance enhancement? What it is? So this is something like uh, we need to ask. Yeah, so something if you tell if someone tells you we are going for Gen six speed, yeah, it's something related to performance. But yeah, performance is increasing. So what are the changes in the layers? Physical layer, data link layer, transaction layer. Some changes are required to support those bandwidth and all. Similarly, SRIOV is something not only performance. This is mainly some other issues also that we will discuss today. Uh, so let's uh, do one thing. Are you able to see the screen, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, okay, let's 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 start with the topic. Uh, yeah, let's, let me tell you the issue here. Uh, what we have in a, in a real world today. So this is we will discuss all everything related to SRIO. Before that, we'll start the, with the background. What why SRIO we was introduced, what it is and what is the requirement behind that? So this is something we had previously in the in the in the in a, in a laptop. So suppose if you have a laptop, previously just consider maybe A086 Pentium 4 processor Intel was giving. System system image is nothing but the operating system. So we had a single processor, we had a single operating system, we had a memory controller. With a memory controller, root complex was there. With a root complex, you can have multiple root ports. Where you one root port, you can connect one device. Other root port, you can connect a switch maybe. So this is something known to us, which we can connect and you can, we can connect two devices. So this is just a single OS, single processor, one CPU, single OS. Yeah, so there was no problem here. Actually, this is a single OS, single processor, single CPU, and uh, you can have endpoint. So as we discussed, endpoint supports ERI or non-ERI. So see, something which is already discussed during the basic course, those terminology I will not highlight here. I will just use the terminology here. That's why we are using that. We are SRI is advanced course. So device, so we have a SRI ERI devices and non-ERI devices. Endpoint can be ERI, non-ERI. ERI means greater than eight function. Non-ERI means less than eight function. Yeah, so if you have a single system image, single CPU, yeah, still we can go till eight function. Eight functions are fine. We can limit our requirement to eight function, less than eight function, or maybe maximum two fifty five function. Not more than that. Uh, we don't need that more function than that. If you have a single pro single OS running, maybe single OS only, Windows only, and you have one Intel processor, single CPU, one memory controller, one root complex, and this is something two root ports. Yeah, we don't need any complex uh, functionality in the devices, in the PCI devices. So this is this was the previous requirement. Image initial. Initial uh, platform were like this, where we had a single OS only and single CPU. At that time, number of functions required in the devices were not like more than eight. It was there. Some fun some devices were provided by like NVIDIA or something like that. At that time also, they were using more than eight function, but not up till two this function. This is just a single processor system. This is just, this is just a desktop or mobile platform system. Okay, so this was this is when we don't require no more than 256 physical function in, in a device. Right now, in the PCI, when it started, it gave it gave the maximum 256 function support. If you want to, if you need more than 256 function, the same device cannot give you that support. You need some other device, but other device also, maybe if it's a suppose if it's an NVIDIA graphics card. If it requires 256 function, if it is a, some functionality provided by NVIDIA, we need the 257 function also. 
because this is an nvidia specific function here you can have other nvidia card and other you need to provide other functions so what happens is like uh, if you have a requirement greater than 255 function or 256 function device cannot support that is a physical function maximum limit on the physical function we have in one device apart from it there is a problem when uh, we had uh, so let me discuss this problem also other problem is this when you connect a single bus one bus with multiple devices in that case also function are limited to it only because we are also using device number as we discuss whenever you have a single bus you can have if one device is connected on single bus you can support up to do this function but when one bus is connected to multiple devices in that case we can we are limited to it function per device we cannot go beyond eight physical function this is a limitation yeah so this is a limitation right now if you connect single bus having multiple devices device number is compulsory and that is where because device number will tell which device it is where we are communicating and the function number is something it will tell you which function we are talking to once you introduce a device number that is where function number will reduce to 3 bit and we are we can, maximum we can support is a eight function so this is another problem right now you cannot connect the devices where uh, with a one bus you cannot if you connect multiple devices you need to make sure that device does not use more than eight function if it uses more than eight function hello hello yeah who is this hey yeah, i'm i'm rakesh i'm calling you back uh, after like two I'm calling you after 2 p.m. I'm, the class is going on. Oh uh, yeah, so here other problem is if you have a single bus, you connect multiple devices. That's 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 where your your functions are also limited. So if you want to make sure your your switch your your platform supports of this function, you have to dedicatedly connect one endpoint with a root complex or switch having a one endpoint only. Other port will be having one endpoint. that configuration is must you have to use it otherwise suppose problem is suppose this endpoint is not there and this is a switch and you have this endpoints only that is where you have limited number of function per endpoint to eight now problem is if suppose some customers are there in the market endpoint devices are there in the market which by default uses more than eight function if this is your platform configuration where that this is not there only switch is there and you have connected like this you cannot use this device in your platform because it requires more than eight function you cannot provide you cannot target more than eight function because your function number is limited to 3 bit you can target maximum eight function in this case platform has to provide one more solution to have one more port where can direct you can directly connect the endpoint that solution is required so problem is this where you can where you have one bus multiple devices you cannot go beyond eight function that is where we need some solution so there are two problem one right now we have single cpu single os so everything is good if everything is if you need listen in function with a sub single bus no issues but if you if you need if you provide dedicated bus you can go up to this function but this is something really costly solution we need switch we need we want to connect multiple endpoints yeah so we need some solution to resolve limitation of eight function also that is where sir i was coming into picture let's discuss that thing any question till now any question anyone has a question not yeah, for me yeah what you got it right so what is the problem right now yeah Rakesh, are you talking? One second, oh, oh. oh one second. I was just Somebody... making yeah, okay. I was just yeah, making one. sure that we didn't lose, we didn't lose you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Hitesh, are you able to hear me? I think you messaged like uh, you are not able to hear. No, no, I messaged a long time back. Uh, I can hear. 
Oh, okay. You are able to see the screen also, right? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's good. Okay, let's go back. So this is what we have today. You can have single bus directly connected to devices here. That is where still you can support two business functions here directly. So this directed one bus is there. Here we can support two business function. Here we can support two business function. Problem comes when you have a single bus. Two devices are connected there. In that case, you cannot have more than eight function. This is a limitation. Yeah, till if you if you are supposed to connect only two devices, that is where this solution is fine. Suppose we are connecting multiple devices. In that case, one more port will come, and where we have to make sure like one more device is getting supported. So switch has switch is becoming so complex again. Like overall, multiple ports per switch are increasing. And there's a problem. And if you connect a single bus, then you are limited to eight function. You cannot go beyond eight function. That's a problem. So these two problems are there in the single single OS system also. Yeah, you can connect if you want to connect two business function device. You have to connect separately like this. It is the way it is connected. It will be third port here. So number of ports you increase in the switch. Overall logic routing everything depend everything becomes slow. The overall performance gets impacted. So we need to have single bus, multiple endpoints needs to be connected. And if you connect single bus, multiple endpoints, number of functions are limited to eight. That is another problem. So how to overcome this? That's a that is where we are giving the solution. So this is just the basic problem in the in the desktop. Mainly desktop means only single OS, single processor. This is a problem that I have shown. Now let's go to the complex system. Uh, any question here? Anyone has in this system? First of all. No, okay, let's go to the more complex system. Now this is what we have today. Uh, we are talking about like uh, one processor, but it's not a single processor. It's something one processor having eight cores per core. We have two threads, so 60 through 60, uh, 16 thread. Or oh, now this is just a, this is just an example. Or now we have us in the market. We have a solution available with 256 cores. 256 cores means logical image of the one core. You could replicate the same logic and the second core. That's how you have 256 different cores. And this is a virtual image entry. It's nothing but a, a interceptor. This is mainly OS concept. We we we, we know the VM uh, virtualization. We we call we say like virtualization is there. So we have a single hardware. There's a virtualization layer. Above this, we have multiple OS. System image is nothing but OS. One processor, one processor is handling one, two, three. This is just an example. You can have any number of OS. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six OS are running right now. Six OS are running. This is a hypervisor which will translate from uh, OS to the processor and from processor to the OS and we'll talk to the root complex any so any system image any OS can talk to any PCI device. So this is a system today. Uh, I think like Itar, you must be knowing this, right? You have clear clear idea about this. What is yeah. hypervisor? Hypervisualization yeah. is through the OS, yes. right? Yes. So I this should. is this is this is See, this is something more related to OS. SRIO is more related to problem related to server and the OS, and the and the and the problem problem where we have number of function limitation rather than any other performance issue. SRIO has nothing to do with the performance. SRIO was introduced to resolve problem of limitation of the function. Now we have number of OS increased. This we have around. In the, in one, I have just shown you one OS, six OS. This is if you have 256 CPUs. I think I have for a few of my friends are working in the Facebook like uh, data center. Also, they are saying one platform is running more than 32 OS. One platform is running more than 32 OS. One hardware is same. There is a hypervisor in between, and there are 32 OS running on it. But the hardware is same. We have 256 CPUs. Memory controllers are dedicated to per CPU. Root complex is there. One CPU is connected to all. This is single root. There is a single root complex here. We are not talking about multiple root complex. We have single root complex, and we have this is a configuration when we have a device is connected here. 
Now problem is when you have a 256 CPUs, when you have a 32 OS, and now everybody is talking to these devices. The problem is to avoid issue with the, all the OSs, what they do, what PCI does, the what OS does, it talks to particular functions only. So what it does, it divides functions, three, four, five, three over three function will be assigned to this OS, other three function will be assigned to this OS, other three function will be assigned to this OS. That's how per devices we our divide functions and we can be assigned to particular OS. With that OS, whenever we switch to that OS, that will talk to only those functions only. That is how that that configuration can be done in the OS. That is what that is that is part of the PSRIO. I will explain that. But what the requirement is, we can if you have a same function talking to all the OS, there can be a confusion from the virtual immediately to go back where we where we need to provide back the response. So what is the what is the solution for that? Uh, one system image should talk to only few set of functions. So suppose system image one, this system image is talking to function 0, 1, 2, 3. Then system image this will talk to function 4, 5, 6, 7. Then system image this will go talk to 8, 9, 10, 11. The 4, 4, 5, 5 functions will be given to per system image. They can talk to those devices. So this is something now today's system. Now problem is now we have 256 CPUs. 32 OS, CPUs wants to talk, everyone talks to these devices. If everybody is sending transaction to these devices, we need dedicated function for the CPU also. Functions means per CPU, one CPU should talk to particular function only. In that case, you can resolve the conflict. Problem is two CPUs are generating the right to the same function at the same time. Now consider that scenario two CPUs are writing to the same function of the same device at the same time. There is a conflict. Now there is this conflict cannot be resolved by root complex. There is nothing inside of PCI to make sure that how to resolve this kind of conflict. That's why what we do, we do, we, we assign particular function, few function to CPU 0, few function to CPU 1, few function to CPU 2 and system image has, a, has some control over C, which, which core it is talking to you. Talking, that's how it will map to particular particular functions. Now, two six CPUs, and you have two six functions. Every CPU requires four function. Physical functions are limited to six number. You can go up till two six functions. Problem is now this solution, this device is not not that much compatible with this kind of system where you have two six CPUs and two six functions here. Uh, yeah, you have to use functions here, but this device has a specific usage and this device has a specific usage. This is a sound card and this is a video card. So now problem is everybody wants to use sound card also. Everybody wants to use video card also, but now we need to more than 256 functions. So what can we do now? What is the solution to this problem when system? This is a today's scenario. We have a 256 CPU system today in the market. Search on Google, search for a processor, server processor having 256 CPU, it, it will show you a Geon server. A Geon server is there in the market today, which is which, which is having one processor having 256 CPUs. So that server is available and that server supports 32 OS also. So that is also there in the market today. The one motherboard supports 32 OS. So that solution is already there in the market today. So how, now problem is end point side. Now we have 256 functions only. Now this many CPUs are there. If though if all are talking to same function, there is a problem of conflict. How to resolve this issue? So one one solution I'm giving you: increase the number of physical function. 256 functions are there. Increase it to the 512. Increase it to increase it, increase it to the 512. That is one solution. But like, see, today, 256 CPUs are there. Tomorrow, there will be 512 CPUs. Again, these 512 CPUs are limited. Then what to do? Again, increase it to 1024. Every time you, you increase the function number, number of function number is a field in the header. If you know, you have to keep increasing the bits. And that we don't have a space to increase the bits in the function number. Now, yeah, you can increase and you can use some other extra field. But problem is, 
that is not a scalable architecture you keep increasing as cpus are increasing keep increasing function in the device this this is not a scalable architecture we have a problem here this is a hardware requirement where we have to have always 512 functions available always or you have to have always 1024 functions available but this is also not a prop, not a proper solution as demand increase the pci device has to improve previous pci device are not useful you have to throw away previous pci device because it is a two phase system function device you have to throw away from the market yeah so that is a problem in gaming this, this problem is seen seen in a gaming platform as you nvidia g47 comes some games are supported on that as some games are supported on the newer version of the graphics card so prior version of graphics card you have to remove it so problem is every time you keep replacing the graphics card you are, you are actually spending more in, on the money nobody takes it nobody takes back the old graphics card and gives you the new graphics card that's that problem is already there in the graphics world as you go from the previous graphics card to new graphics card few games are only supporting new graphics card previous graphic card is not supported that is why you have to completely remove the graphics card itself you have to add the new graphics card with a new memory size and all yeah that problem is already there in the graphics world but we don't want to create that problem in the pc world we want to make sure we resolve this issue we don't want to keep increasing function like this 512 then we move to 1024 again 2048 this is not the solution that is where you have to tell uh, uh, like say, pca root compress also now function number is function number is 8 bit then function number is more than 16 bit then function number is 32 bit that is that is also should be known to function root complex that is something we are changing complete architecture of pca so are you getting this problem right now what is so let me tell you srio we has nothing to do with the performance srio we was introduced with prof because of this problem MRIO we had some other problem we'll discuss in future but do, PCI Gen 6 is a performance solution SRIO we is not the performance solution it's kind of performance but problem is something else also so this is a problem so, are you getting the problem here yes so it's basically for the scalability right yes yes scalability means problem is in the in the, in the, in the server the okay. yeah. yeah prop mm-hmm. one second huh? yeah so in the future as as system is becoming more and more complex yeah so this is server but in desktop also if you do if you know i think four os are supported correct me itar if i am wrong in the desktop platform also four os are supported right yeah minimum four os minimum four yeah minimum you can go up I'm, to you can load more than four os also yeah i'm running i'm running on my desktop like seven os right now so. yeah okay yeah, yeah. That, that is fine but that's what i have heard in the intel motherboard architectures platform spec yeah so intel motherboard minimum 4 os are supported minimum maximum something is configurable right so now see this is a motherboard where we have a 4 os minimum 7 8 meg 32 os are there then we have a limitation here in the devices all all os require some dedicated functions talking to them the processor also If you look at a desktop processor, I have eight core, eight core CPU today. In in my laptop, we have, I have eight eight core system. Eight core means eight CPUs in one 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 die. I have eight CPUs, and per CPU I have what two threads? So sixty four threads I have. So right now I have eight CPUs, but I am talking about eight CPUs also. If it is there, in that case also I want some four or five, uh, four or five what we call function. Uh, Like going for one CPU, other four or five for other CPU. This is desktop system I'm talking about, where I have eight CPUs today. That server I have worked on two fifty CPUs also. Geon, just search on Geon, it will tell you Geon server server has two fifty CPUs in one in in one die. Yeah, so so that is a problem here. Now you are understanding what is the problem. Two fifty six functions are not enough. You either you keep increasing the function, that is where. Function number will be increase bit number of bits in the function number will increase and yeah, our root complex need to know what is the function number bits right now and that is where device needs to follow that everything will be changing right now a uh, header will change uh, that is this is a big problem from PCI side also so this is not the plat- this is not a performance problem this is where we have problem of scalability scaling with the pre- more and more complex system.
uh, any question here first any comment here everybody is getting the problem yes sir yes. anyone anyone else okay now let's go to the solution now let's see here one more okay now like what is what we have is just a terminology about to i will explain here only i don't want to explain here so nothing but multiple system images when i say this is nothing but multiple os system image you can have linux you can running windows i don't know what other os are available in the market uh, so yeah there is a there is a mac also but i don't know whether mac is supported on the same system we can load mac and windows together i don't have see over side i don't have the good knowledge yeah my my only concern is pci so yeah whatever if you have any question from the os perspective maybe yeah how pci handles the os handling from sri perspective how os is handling everything that i will explain but how many os what type of os are there yeah i know windows i know linux i know this uh, io this is uh, what qnx hey yeah, yeah, qnx qnx yeah your your yeah. os is there but like yeah. i don't know i'm just saying an example adding yeah, yeah, yeah. example yeah 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 okay okay yeah, and then there is one like uh, uh, what is pop popular is the apple os like this is like mac that is also there Yeah, so those OS, so those are very popular. Those three, OS, I don't know whether Mac can run with Windows or not. I don't know about it. But yeah, Linux and Windows are can run together. So minimum two OS you can run right now. So that is when when you switch to Windows, you your view to the functions will be different. When you switch to Linux, your view to the functions will be different. So how it happens? That is that is very system imagery. This is nothing but a hypervisor. System image is a OS. virtual image directory is nothing but a virtualization platform inside the os so there is one software that does the trans is a host this is called a host and this is a called a guest so host to guest part trans uh, translation happens so there is where cpu also supports that host to guest translation and the os also has a image directory how cpu supports it that is not our problem how os supports it that is not our problem we are only concerned with from this perspective but the picture is just shown to make sure you understand the problem here so this is something we have this many you know, system image os virtual image is a hypervisor is nothing but which converts uh, like os to into the in the logically like a logical in logical uh, addresses into physical addresses and all but we need a different view from the processor side when os which is view should be changing we need because processor will should not see same two different os should not be accessing same resources that has to be make sure otherwise what will happen is some this os is corrupting it this os will not know it so that's why we need to have separate images of the processor uh, architecture as well as memory to this os function to this os uh, pci function to this os and this os should have system resources different visible to the from processor memory and the function side so this is a requirement today so virtual this is a mainly vm and we, we call it like a uh, hypervisor which is part of the os logic processor supports vm x this is virtualization is part of the processor architecture is latest processor supports that also now pci has to step up pci has nothing to do does not have any solution for this issue right now just don't worry about sri we are bringing that issue but the problem is from pci side right now processor upgraded itself to support virtualization OS has its own way of handling virtualization. Now, what what is what what PCA is doing now? What is what is the problem? What PCA has implemented to support this kind of issues? That is where we are discussing a PCA solution. Okay, so we will yeah. Now this is a solution that PCA is providing. This is a SR IOV platform. Yeah, we have a system image, same way. We have a virtualized image is hypervisor the same way. Processor is there, memory is there. Don't worry about this. A root complex is there, endpoint is there. Just two endpoints are there. So this is all. Everything is same. Now what is added? What we have added is something called virtual function. You see here, 
this is called a physical function physical function is nothing but actual function available whatever 256 functions were there and don't worry about virtual function right now physical function is nothing but whatever functions were existing before pci so 256 function function number 0 will be physical function 0 and function number 255 will be if this is will be for physical function 255 so you can have physical function 0 to physical function 255 that is what we have now the only only thing is that if you don't have sr iov keep increasing physical function to maybe now you want more than 256 function keep increasing to physical function one like 512 uh, then 1024 that is one solution you are giving in the market today that is one solution you can give problem is as i told you in that case the function number function number has to build should be increasing also hardware should be updated also root complex should know now now function number is this much weird this kind of issues are already there that is where every physical function pci introduced virtual function what is virtual function we will discuss later just assume a physical function zero supports virtual function zero. so this is a physical function number and this is a virtual function number where vf01 means physical function number associated with physical number zero and number is one The VF zero n means associated with physical function zero number is n. So these virtual functions are associated associated with the physical function. How to create it? What happens? That is a future DIY problem. But what we have given solution in the market today. Internally, we will target physical function zero only. There is an internal routing happens to the virtual function. Now what system image looks at is virtual function. Now we can enable virtual function on the fly. we can disable virtual function on the fly how it happens is part of the sr iov just uh, just understand this concept you, what what i am telling you in one physical function you can have one virtual function or you can have maximum n virtual function these are programmable if you want to have only one virtual function that is also possible if you want to have n virtual function in physical function zero that is also possible this is completely programmable so now what flexibility is there suppose you have a uh, now suppose we are giving maximum 255 virtual function per physical function so physical function 0 will have one 255 virtual function so either you can enable one virtual function or all 255 virtual function now what solution we are giving in the market now what is the, what is the problem resolved with this now what is happening is yeah we can have one virtual physical function Having 255 virtual function, total functions are one physical function and 255 other function, virtual function, 250 function. Here we are have in this endpoint. Now, whenever system image is talking to functions, we can assign virtual function also to the system image. Now, instead of assigning a single physical single physical function, three physical function to one system image, what we can do is we can assign one physical function and three virtual function to system image. Or all virtual function to system image. A two fifty five virtual function you can assign to system image, and this is also configurable. If you want one virtual function enabled, that you can enable. If you want two fifty five virtual function enabled per physical function, that also you can enable. So what is what? This is a like kind of scalable architecture. Yeah, if you have three OS, you can use four for which virtual function. If you have two fifty five OS, you use two fifty five virtual function. Two two fifty five just a number I have given. Support it is more more is way 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 more than that. Now other thing is that this is just a single physical function. Now there will be other physical function one that is where we will have virtual function one two two fifty five physical function two virtual function one two two fifty five. Every physical function can have two fifty five virtual function. All those you can assign it to system image. Now the, what we are doing here is. we are giving the solution where if whatever virtual function you want to enable you can enable if you don't want to enable virtual function that is also fine suppose i have a system only single system image i will not enable virtual function only single physical physical function will be there i have a problem where i have eight we have to eight system image i will enable all to 55 virtual functions and i will assign virtual function to system images so this is kind of flexible architecture now thing is that how virtual functions are assigned how those are enabled how those are configured this is a sriv problem protocol handles all this issue 
thing is things thing what i want to make sure you understand that now problem is kind of resolved now, now we are actually every physical function we are assigning virtual function and uh, virtual function is something you can configure either one or 255 per physical function second physical function will be having one or 255 so that is what we are programmability we are giving in terms of function also enabling the function or disabling the function when function is enabled it will respond when function is disabled it will not respond that's it uh, any question here first of all each system image will uh, each system image will require one physical function uh no let's see what happens is uh, this is a system image maybe you are running a linux Okay. So yeah, Linux can have some requirement like maybe it uses four or five functions also from one device. Now I'm not saying one one physical function can say overall not don't worry about physical function or virtual function. One system image may require multiple functions. So whenever you have a requirement, suppose requirement is four function here, we will assign physical function zero here to this and virtual function zero one two four total function to this system image. So what we are giving the solution is one physical function, three virtual function. But suppose other solution is all physical function, all physical function you can assign. Physical function 0, 1, 2, 3, all you can assign here. Problem is here, one OS is there, no problem. 255 OS is there, you can keep assigning one physical function. Problem is one endpoint, you require more than 255 function. That is where virtual function will come into picture. But the problem in, in the market today, in a single OS also, nobody is implementing more than one physical function. The problem solution provided in the market is one physical function, all other are virtual function. One system image requires four function, physical function zero will be assigned, virtual function zero, one, two, three function from virtual function, three, one physical function will be assigned. This is solution given in the market today. Are you getting my prop, uh, solution? Yes, now if we have, apart from Linux, we have again Windows installed. So for Windows, it, it will use the same uh, physical function zero. Uh, so physical function, Physical function zero will be used for both Linux and Windows. And no, then... no, 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 no. Whenever you have two different OS, the guidance is to assign different physical function, different virtual function there. Okay, so each OS will at least require one physical function and then you can assign as many virtual functions you want. Uh, in, that is not the correct thing also. Yeah, what happens is suppose you have one physical function here, you assign here three function you assign here. Now what you can do this OS remaining remaining physical virtual function you can assign to the second OS. Now, transaction will happen through this physical function only, but internally routing will happen to particular virtual function. Otherwise, the main thing is that you don't assign physical function, you directly assign virtual function. Physical function you keep as it is. You can assign 0, 1, 2 to the, this OS, 3, 4, 5 to this OS. That is also solution is available. Do you don't assign physical function to any OS? Okay, understood. Okay. Yeah, that is also you can do. Okay. So now, 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 are you seeing some benefit here with the uh, with the virtualization here? Yeah. How it happens? How hardware configures it? Everything is part. That is called a SRIV protocol. So I want to make sure you understand the solution here. What is the problem and what is the solution provided by the SRIV PCI devices today? This is an enhancement in SRIV in the endpoint this is something virtual functions are there in endpoint root complex does not have any virtual function understand that uh, are you got are you getting this point any question here hello oh uh, no anyone anyone has question like uh, uh, OS, yeah. Any question you have, I will take it. If I, if it, if it is something related to us, I will search and I will let you know. Now, other thing I want to mention, this is something a translation agent is there, and the ATP is there. There is something we call ATS. That is something we'll discuss separately. Now, one thing you have mentioned, uh, we have mentioned is SRPCIM, single root. This is a driver requirement. If you want to have a SRIOV virtual function enabled. We need some driver in the OS. That driver is called SRPCIM. Now, see, usually in the PCI, in the basic course, I told driver is something we are not covering. It's not our problem. 
but in the in this case pcic has went ahead to discuss the driver also they called it as a srpcm driver they want it to be implemented as part of the os virtual image virtual virtualization concept you have to implement as a, the directions are also given how to implement a driver what driver responsibility is how to write, implement means how to write a c code that is not a direction direction is what driver responsibility is in terms of uh, configuring the sriov devices so driver will know these are the sriov devices and this will configure it so this driver is there as part of the os and drive how to write how to program how to code drivers that is not a problem of pci but what driver functionality is that is a problem of pci pci wants to make sure this driver supports all this functionality in order to support virtual functions in the platform so this is also is top topic here that is we have a virtualization we have an enumeration part of the sriov we will discuss a driver responsibility this is something uh, not really pci topic uh, and then uh, this is not sriov topic this is something endpoint has enhancement in terms of virtual function root complex does not have any enhancement in sriov root complex is as it is we are using single root complex there is no enhancement done in the root complex above root complex driver is added in endpoint virtual functions are added and some other information are also added that is a part of the sriv protocol am i making your myself clear here is it clear right now now how problem is resolved and uh, how what was the problem before how problem is resolved now with the sriv and how to enable disable sriv how to program everything is coming in the subsequent slide yeah before i proceed further i want to make sure everybody is on with me right now it's in sync with me yes sir anyone has any question so just a quick question rakesh should so this model applies to the airy devices as well right uh, uh, no can you repeat your question any device means what uh, the airy 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 devices so I, so i'm just wondering if this model scales to the airy devices as well like ari devices with oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. airy means ari yeah, yeah. So that 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 will okay. discuss how how ari how ari comes into picture and how bus number device number function numbers are given that yeah. is part of the sri protocol yeah so okay. this is something yeah ari devices are there uh, okay. you can use ari devices means you can use more than it function yeah yeah okay. yeah more than it function you can go so what happens is suppose Now, yeah, that you you brought a really good point. Suppose we have this this thing here. Uh, suppose we have a one bus and four endpoints. So what what we what I told you, function number is limited to three bit, and we have less than eight function only. Now what you can do, you can have one physical function. Rest of others can be virtual function. That is also. Okay, so okay. even if it is non-ERI, one physical mm -hmm. function can be having multiple virtual functions. That is what solution you can give in the market today. Right. Okay. 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 Are you getting? Uh, so how how it happens? That is what I need to discuss. That is SRIO protocol. That is what protocol is telling how it is covered, how it is implemented today in the PCI. So basically, if I want a non-ERI device to, so if I want a non-ERI, so like if I want a um, system. Which behaves like a like an ARI device, and I do not have that device. I can use a non-ARI device, and I can use SRIOV instead to basically bring out the same picture. The only condition yes. is that I need to use hypervisor in that situation, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. But other thing is that just the, you're talking about the normal like one OS function, one OS issue. Suppose yeah. we have thirty-two OS, two hundred six CPUs. I'm talking about the server. in yeah. that case you need in that case you need prop like yeah in that case we need like something like uh, more complex solution that is where yeah. that is where sriv also is there sriv is scalable for desktop to finally server for platforms anywhere so you I, can use sriv so like if i just want to use one os image right uh -huh. but i want to use one os image i am allotting one physical device and then i am allotting three virtual functions via sriv do i still need hypervisor in this context no so so yeah, yeah so this is a good question what happens is when whenever you have a single os 
कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ हाइपरवाइजर इज नॉट देयर वी हैव जस्ट अ ड्राइवर एज पार्ट ऑफ द ओएस एसआरपीसीएम ड्राइवर इज देयर इन ओएस ओके ओके मेक्स सेंस या व्हेन यू व्हेनेवर यू हैव अ ओएस वी डोंट हैव अ ओएस वन ओएस we don't we don't worry about the virtualization what we do is we need a sbcm driver how to write a driver that is what my problem is i will explain you how to what is the indication given by the pci seek to write a driver they don't tell you how to write the c code they will tell you what is the functionality of the driver what it is so does. if i okay so like if i'm if i'm looking into designing sro uh, the s uh, the sr pcim so i'm thinking mm-hmm. that that driver should be should be independent of the hypervisor like hypervisor can have access to that driver but it should not be part of a hypervisor for a situation like this where there's only yeah. okay yes so okay. that driver uh, that driver yeah what you can do is uh, uh, that driver will be common for all the os that yeah. has to be there that yeah. driver because you cannot have a separate driver per os yeah. that that will that is where you will create a problem in the devices yeah, yeah. yeah. but one thing is that you need single driver so how you include whether you include as part of the hypervisor Mm-hmm. or you can have a separate driver all os has the same access, same right. visibility to the visibility to the same driver so if you have that also that is not a problem okay makes sense thanks yeah you. but how to what is the functionality of srpcm driver that is part of the sriob srob okay got it how how os implements and where it integrate integrates that code and how inter- so how you integrate with the from the from the root complex from the srpcm to root complex how you do transaction and all that is something uh, related to os only right, right now also right now you also will be knowing right? right we don't we don't say like what is the how you connect os with the root complex right 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 that is same okay. way so srpcm yeah. driver is just just generates a config transaction nothing right. else okay okay mm-hmm. got it yeah so now is it picture clear to everyone problem solution so let me tell you sriov is not not just a performance enhancement sriov has this problem and it has it has a os number of os images are more number of cpus are more that is where we need some this all this kind of solution are you going, but in this case we have a single root complex sriov means single root single root complex we have other solution which is called multi root multiple root complexes that is where we need to use mriov that is also in the advanced course that once once that topic comes i will tell you how to why multiple root complexes are required and how we can handle multiple root complexes multiple endpoints in one platform okay but am i making myself clear so my now next will be how to enable virtual function how to configure virtual function all this thing will be happen will be discussed and what is the responsibility of srpcm driver this is what will be discussed root complex side there is no change this is something we are not requiring switch has no change switch is same everything is same only virtual functions are there for in the end point so root complex make sure you understand root complex side there is no enhancement root complex doesn't know it is talking to sriov devices okay Uh, okay uh, is it clear yes rakesh uh, so what i will do is uh, amit you are there yeah rakesh actually i had some internet problem for last uh, couple of hours uh, at around and so you joined right now i joined just couple of minutes back uh, yeah so we have covered around i think 49 minutes uh, section so yeah you can go ahead and uh, look at the video Uh, whatever and rest of the session one hour session you are still there right so we'll we'll cover one hour session here uh, one hour session is more uh, like pending you can look at the video for last 49 minutes sure sure fine? so rakesh i had a i had a small query on the last sentence you mentioned that the root complex doesn't know that it is actually trying to access the virtual function so yes. virtual function will be actually connected to or the map to any physical function only right it doesn't have its own addition. correct correct uh, Yes, yes, yes. So in that case, so in in that case, uh, basically uh, during the enumeration only, the enumeration driver will uh, try to uh, find that uh, uh, basically any particular physical function which has, uh, let's say, VF enable uh, as one or num VF or initial VF. Yeah, don't or total don't VF. go into implementation detail. Yeah, just just high level ask a question. I yeah, will tell my you question, the answer. Yeah, my question, my 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 question is. 
that uh, as also mentioned that root port doesn't uh, uh, know that it is actually accessing the uh, uh, basically virtual function or a physical function but uh, during enumeration uh, basically the enumeration software uh, would know that it is actually assigning the bdf to virtual function yeah. right yeah, that is that is what i said here yeah. srpcm driver does that that is okay. then we okay. are covering right okay. sr so mm -hmm. root okay. compilation okay. no root compilation no this is going to sr iob device srpcm driver knows that is going to sr iob okay. okay 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 so that is what i am talking srpcm is something ECIC has mentioned to implement it has to be part of the OS that this driver has to be there and PCIC never told any time in the in the in the till Gen 4 that how, what what driver does but in SRIOV they want to mention what driver does because they want to be specific what driver does in the SRIOV because SRIOV is more from the OS perspective and en enhancement rather than from the only hardware perspective. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah, so yeah, when I say root complex doesn't know, but driver knows. So root complex doesn't know, right? But I said hardware doesn't know, software knows. Is it is it possible, Rakesh, that uh, uh, the the SRPCM driver uh, that can have a selective enumeration of some of the VF? Is it possible? Uh, selective? Can you elaborate your question again? Selective enumeration means what? Uh, suppose there could be, uh, let's say, maximum 2k VF, but the driver uh, enumerates only 1k VF. Yeah, it is there. We can we can we can uh, we can enumerate only 1k VF. Yeah, we can do it. But in that case, we are not supposed to enable more than 1k VF. Driver should not enable any VF which are not programmed. Okay, all right. Are you get, are you getting my? Did I answer a question? Yeah, you answered my question. I mean, I will uh, later. I mean, uh, once we go more in detail, I'll ask this uh, question on the follow-up question on that. But right now, I, I got a point. Okay. So see, okay. driver knows what it is programming. Whatever is programmed by the driver, it can be enabled. Whatever driver does not program, that should not be enabled by the driver. Enable it without programming. That is where is the problem of the driver rather than the ECI does not say. PCI does not say you should do a transition to disable virtual function. If you do a transition to disable virtual function, that is where you are supposed to get the UR. You will get the UR. Yes. 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 Correct. Yeah. So basically, so uh, <coughs> unless until BDF is uh, not in the range, so it, anyway there will be uh, 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 basically UR because uh, that even if the VF is present in uh, in a PF, that has not been discovered. So uh, okay. So fine. Yeah. Yeah. But see. This, this responsibility of programming the devices is given to SRPCM driver. That's why PCSIC wants to make sure they want to lay out some of the specification for SRPCM also. You have to do these things. Otherwise, we are not guaranteeing any support from the endpoint device. This is not a smart device. This is not a smart intelligent device. There are protocol checks, but you have to make sure your driver is doing correct. You, your driver responsibility is fulfilled also. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so here we will take. Five, so uh, yeah, I'm um, going to join right now. Uh, but we are, we are we are continuing for 53 minutes. I will take around 10 minutes break here, and we will again meet at not 10 minutes. Let's take 12:30. We'll meet at 12:30, and uh, we will start. We will complete till one o'clock. We'll complete whatever we can complete till one o'clock today. Today we want to keep it till that point. Next week we will again start from the where we left. Till then, you can go ahead, look at the videos again, keep uh, whatever questions you have, okay. compile the question and bring the questions to me. So today, uh, here sure, I'm taking sure. 15 minutes break because I have to take a little bit of lunch. Uh, so by 12.30, we'll start and by 1 p.m. we'll complete. Is it fine with everyone? Yeah, fine. Yeah. Uh, sorry, because I am continuing from 8 in the morning. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so that's why like uh, uh, just it will take 30, 5 15 minutes to take the lunch only and then with 12 30 I will start again. Is it sure, fine? Sure. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, everything don't don't uh, disconnect. Uh, this will recording will go on and I am just uh, what we call uh, uh, muting my mic and uh, you will uh, Z1230, I will say, I will start again.
Hello, are you guys there? Hello. Yes, 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 sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Five minute delayed, like five minute over five minute. Uh, yeah. So shall we start with us like uh, one second? Uh, now before I proceed, I want this is a solution we are giving today. In the market, we have a SRPCM driver. So see, I am showing as part of the virtual hypervisor. See, this picture is something coming from the PCI stick. Now this OS side, I have never implemented anything from the OS side. Yeah, I know I have implemented SRPCM functionality, but actually at this point, no processor is not there. Only root complex is there where SRPCM driver is talking to root complex and configuring the endpoint. This is what I have done in verification. In the in the in the SOC, we have a CPU over that. We have SRPCM driver, but the problem is we don't worry about the multiple images. Uh, what we do is we just think of one SRPCM driver over server over processor. That is OS is actually not running. This is something uh, one of the sequence running at the SOC level, which has the SRPCM functionality. So yeah, this solution is something in the motherboard today. Motherboard has multiple images. It has hypervisor. It has SRPCM. I don't know whether it's part of the hypervisor or they have dedicated uh, like a uh, separate part where they have it. But SRPCM driver cannot be replicated in each and every OS. It is it is separate. It a one one image is shown to all the all the OS will look at the same driver because thing is that once you have a separate driver for every OS, they will configure this start card differently. Every every OS will configure cards differently. That is where we have a problem. Yeah. So yeah. So this is in verification side. We put SRPCM above root complex here. SOC side, we have a above processor only, but SRPCM driver is not as part of the OS. This is just a sequence. Okay, but actual motherboard, we have images and we have a driver. That is where I have never worked in my life. Yeah, so I don't know how they implement the SRPCM driver from the in the multiple when you have a multiple images, how it how it interacts, I know. But how they implement, I don't know. If you have that question. Drop me a question in the WhatsApp group. I will search them. I will ask you of my experts in the market. I will get I will get back to you. But from verification perspective, I'm clear. From SOC verification perspective, I'm clear. Only OS perspective, when we have single system image, I'm clear. When you have multiple images, that is where I have a problem. I don't know how interaction happens with this multiple system image with the SRPCM driver. Okay, is it clear? So I am giving my limitation also because I am not a software person. I am a hardware person. Is it clear? Hello? Yes, Rakesh. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I, I gave my limitation also. This is my limit. <coughs> this is my limitation in terms of understanding the SROV. Yeah, whatever I will explain, it, is, it holds good for the PCI devices. PCI device is programming happens in this way only, whether you do system one system image, or you do the multiple system image, but how to handle system multiple system image with one driver? That is something I don't have a clear idea. That is why PCIC has not mentioned it. It is something OS developer takes care of it. Is it is it clear? Did, did I make myself clear? Yes, Rakesh. Okay. Okay. Now let's discuss about the components of the SRPCM SR SR IOV platform. First component is SRPCIM manager. It's nothing but a driver. What it does? So it has a responsibility of figuring out whether SRIOV capability is there or not in the function, in the in the device, in the endpoint. This SRPCM driver is only talking to the endpoint through root complex. So what what is what is its responsibility to make sure there is a SRIOV capability present? To make sure it is there is something physical function and virtual function requirement from the OS to make sure anything any error reporting is done by the virtual function mainly is handled by the SRPCM driver. Anytime any endpoint is saying that this is a malformed TLP, this is an unsupported request, it will be forwarded to SRPCM driver for for making sure. It is routed. It, it is handled by the SRPCM driver. So that is the responsibility of the SRI SRPCM driver. Apart from it, some of the power management control for the virtual function is given to the SRPCM driver. 
and the hot plug service for the virtual function is given to the hot plug is the virtual function cannot participate in hot plug but some of the functionality i will tell you what it is that will be part of the srpcm driver so this is what srpcm driver does this is called srpc a single root pci manager srpcim this is a driver this is this is its responsibility we will cover everything how it have what what is the flow what 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 is what is start point what is end point and how to handle error scenarios how everything is there now translation agent we are not worried about it this is mainly we have a suppose multiple os is running we have to convert our virtual address into physical address so there is something translation is required the translation agent is mainly ats address translation service protocol is uh, there that little bit i will touch base upon but we don't need to worry about this now physical function is something what is physical function let me explain what is physical function and virtual function physical function is a function we when we did not had anything like called sriov whatever functions were present in non ari and the ari where two shift is functions or less than eight eight function or greater than eight function those are actual physical functions those are called the physical function now virtual function is a lightweight function which acts as a function but it can be enabled or it can be disabled and it can be directly accessible by the system image physical function is always present it cannot be disabled it is always present if you don't implement it this is different thing thing is that if you implement it it's always there virtual function you can have one virtual function right now after 5 minute i can have five virtual function after 10 minutes i can have 15 virtual function after 15 minutes i can have one virtual function again that is totally configurable during run time totally configurable physical function is something once you have it once you configure it you can change it no issues problem is this is not totally dynamic virtual function is totally dynamic every physical function can have multiple virtual function associated with it so virtual function cannot exist individually virtual functions are attached with the physical function if you need virtual function you need minimum one physical function one physical function you can have multiple virtual function two physical function you can have three virtual function one one physical function four on second physical function that's how you can still divide but you need one physical function for existing of virtual function virtual function cannot exist without physical function one physical function is compulsory to enable any other virtual functions so virtual functions are associated with the physical functions only so whenever we do a transaction we will do the to the physical function internally it will go to the virtual function how it happens that is where sriio is taking uh, protocol is taking care of everything now all virtual function associated with the physical function must be same as with like a Like all virtual function of the type, virtual type, but physical function must be of the same device type. Means what? What we are saying is, if you have a virtual function, after one physical one physical function, if it is if it is actually handling sound, all virtual functions should be handling sound traffic only. That is a requirement. The application layer side, whatever application is handled by physical function, same application virtual function should be associated with the. same physical function if you have one more application you can you may need one more virtual physical function you can have any number of virtual function there but that is where it will use the same functionality so this is something uh, overview of the sriov platform these are the terminology i will use physical function then i will use like virtual function then my then my i will say this is what srpcm driver does translation agent is really rare i will be using it but yeah this is something i will use frequently srpcm then we have physical function this is a virtual function this is what virtual function does that is where you should have a clear picture any question no rakesh any question yeah no rakesh okay okay no question for am anyone here okay no question then let's start with the next slide now let's discuss about the functions in the multiple now i am i am taking you to the end point 
so now whatever discussion we are doing is for the end point what happens when we have a pci port and what happens when we this is actually a physical function these are the physical functions so whenever we, there's a pci port internally there is a routing happening a pci port receives anything will route to the particular function maybe a pci port is receiving a memory write memory write will go to the address it will check for the address it will go to particular function if it is a config write it will go it will check for bdf it will go to particular function this is a, a implementation today when you have a multi function device so if you have a single device single function then it's just uh, you connecting pci port this function there is nothing no routing is required problem is internally in one device now we have a three function that is where internal routing is required the internal routing mechanism is there so this is something we have to uh one second huh? Yeah, yeah so this is the everybody can see everybody can see the architecture yes rakesh hello i can see yes, the screen yes. yeah so this is without virtual function these are physical functions what happens is pci port will receive a tlp or transmit the tlp so whenever receive suppose memory read or memory write is coming here according to function address it will go to particular function and function will respond and then suppose this function one is getting the request function one will respond it will generate a cpld there are physical resources within the function so these are this can be the memory this can be something like that this every function will have its own memory also this dedicated memory small small memory so this is something we have today this is called a multi function device but now let's talk about the one more problem about the multi function device having the virtual function also so now we have a pci this is a sriov capable device why are we calling sriov capable device because internally it knows actually supports sriov endpoint knows it supports sriov root complex doesn't know it support it is just doing a sriov transaction sr pcm knows this is sriov transaction so here whenever memory write comes here it will go to the internally what happens is if one physical function can have multiple virtual functions now physical function zero zero means vf zero means this is a physical function field this is a virtual function field physical function zero virtual function one physical function zero virtual function two physical function zero virtual function and internally routing will happen so what happens is there is a configuration space here in the physical function internally to enable or disable virtual functions so this is something is given in the physical function only if if any physical function wants to enable or disable virtual function capability this configuration resources is part of the physical function virtual function does not have a it has a configuration space but not related to the virtual function here physical function has a configuration space which can enable the virtual function or which can disable the virtual function completely happens through the physical function uh, configuration space so this is a more complex system today we are talking about what i was saying one physical function all other virtual function this is what i am talking about so now you what you can do you can assign physical virtual function 0 one virtual function 1 2 3 to one cpu 4 5 6 to other cpu that you can do right now although you don't have a although you don't have a like eight more than eight function capability in physical function but you can have this configuration you can have multiple virtual function that is also you can do so this is called a sriov capable device i have just shown one physical function and one physical sub function supporting multiple virtual function so this is a device called single pf multiple vf single physical function multiple virtual function okay so now we are taking problem to the higher level let's go to the more one more problem one more level we are taking it to that 
now we have multiple physical function also and multiple virtual function also so how how the system will look like this is a endpoint device physical function 0 has virtual function 0 1 2 and 3 3 uh, three functions are there here and here a physical function m m means can anything 255 you can consider also it has it has virtual function from m 1 2 3 3 virtual function with a physical function m and three physical virtual function with a physical function 0 three physical function just an example you can go up to 65000 virtual function how i am showing you but this is a problem this is a more complex system multiple virtual function multiple physical function physical function 0 has three virtual function physical function m has three virtual function enabling disabling virtual function m is handled by physical function m enabling disabling virtual function 0 is done by the virtual function uh, related to 0 is done by this configuration space now how routing happens and what how algorithm is implemented that is what i am showing ahead but this is called more complex system are you getting the problem here right now this is this is this is what we have today multiple physical function multiple virtual functions every physical function has dedicated virtual function other physical functions has dedicated virtual function means you can enable or disable also sometime it will have three sometime it will have two sometime you can you can make it one sometime you can disable everything okay Are you, are you so ready? rakesh basically so rakesh basically the config space for each of the virtual functions will be implemented by the actual function a physical function uh, to which these virtual functions are mapped to right and let me correct your question here virtual function also correct your correct your point here understanding virtual function also has a physical configuration resources but that is for, that is for only that virtual function this configuration resources are only to configure the virtual function this is called the sriv configuration space which virtual function does not have so here this is just enabling disabling virtual function happen through this in this virtual function once those are enabled uh, there is a configuration space to handle some of the parameters but it cannot disable enable physical function or it cannot enable disable virtual function it is just er register is there if er capability is there in physical function virtual function will have er capability also yes so basically but let's say uh, an msi is uh, will be a part of uh, a physical function but an msi will not be part of the virtual function that, so that, that case, is that's it that is a future topic some of the what happens is virtual function utilizes some of the capability from the physical function that is what spec says some of the capabilities are replicated in both the both the functions so whatever capabilities are replicated in both the function those are separately implemented whatever physical capability virtual functions are using from the physical function those are only in physical function at the whenever we discuss configuration space at a time we will touch touch base upon this this capabilities in the both the function this capabilities only in physical function virtual function utilize this capability got it so uh, actually my question was that uh, mm -hmm. uh, from that fundamental point only that uh, what is the reason that uh, i mean this could be a specific uh, specs or architecture specific uh, query also that what is mm -hmm. the reason that only some of them are uh, common like uh, vf has to utilize the same from the pf and otherwise it can have its own config space for that uh, capability for example you mentioned ar yes so, let me explain SRI let me give you the problem let me give you the problem let me let me give you let me take two different capabilities and answer your question let's sure. discuss about the msi you can implement msi in virtual function also you can implement msi in the physical function also but problem is uh, we need what msi is nothing but the interrupt so mm -hmm. interrupt is something you can implement directly in physical function you can tell virtual function to read the configuration space of the physical function use the same physical virtual same interrupt that is endpoint capability there is totally endpoint capability msi is endpoint capability it is only implemented in msi in endpoint it is not there in root complex so virtual mm -hmm. function instead of implementing both the side what you can do this virtual function can use some of the vector from the msi capability of the virtual physical function you can assign two vectors to this virtual function two vectors here so what it does it reads the configuration space of the physical function and then it utilizes two vector here one address and one data will be written that is one vector will two vectors will be used by this virtual function two vectors will be used by this one you don't need a 
MSI capability here. For simplest reason, internally we can do it. That's why we can't, we don't, we, did, we don't replicate it in both of things. Both the things. Let's talk about AER. AER is something. Here, suppose you are generating an address, some evaluation you are doing, which is going TC0 is coming here for this BDF. Virtually every virtual function has separate BDF, and every physical function has separate BDF. No virtual function, no physical function has the same BDF. So what happens is, if you generate a configuration transaction on TC1 on this BDF, which is going to physical function, that ER should lock. If you are generating configuration transaction on BDF, which is related to virtual function, where instead of TC0, if you are using TC1, that is where you have to log in the virtual function rather than physical function to make sure you are telling that virtual function found the issue, not the physical function. That's why we have two different capabilities. Are you getting this point? Yeah, so basically, I, I, in nutshell, basically every physical function has a config space related to either enable or disable the VF. And we have separately has its own config space for some programming, some parameters and other stuff which are specific to that sort of a VF. So especially in MSI, you mentioned that uh, we don't need to, uh, let's say, have to implement in the VF specially. It, it can directly use the vectors from the PF config space. Uh, and the AR, we need a separate because the error logging has to be done for that uh, register separately. Then why in MSI X we have a separate VF? If we don't need an MSI, uh, MSI X has a separate uh, uh, VF config space. Why so, Rakesh? Yeah, so problem is the way MSI X is implemented. The MSI X table is read from the memory. Vectors are not read from the configuration space. Vectors are read from the memory. Virtual function memory is separate from the physical function memory. Okay, so basically there are a, a different config exclusive uh, bar for the VF as it is for the uh, PF, right? Yes, yes, yes. Got it. Thank you. Thanks, Rakesh. Yeah, did I answer the question? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what we will do is we will stop here. Uh, we I want you to go through. So we have completed 15 slides and we have 69 slides total. Uh, so people who has not paid till now uh, will not get the slides, but people who has paid completely for this course, advanced course, where I just send me the email ID. And people who has paid also can send me the email ID because this PPT is enhanced afterwards. This SRIO PPT I have enhanced uh, uh, later. So I will send this PPT today itself. So you can go through the PPT also. And recording is available for all the people who are who has paid or doesn't pay. It doesn't matter. But I will send you SRIO PPT today itself who, who are paying completely today. If you are not paying completely today, you will read. You will get the SRIO, MRIO, and MME PPT at the end of the course. Whenever you pay, right? So even though you have paid, just send me the email ID in the WhatsApp group. I will send you this PPT today itself. Okay. Sure, Akish. Okay. Yeah. So we are done. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and ask question. Go ahead and research in the market. Like, see, one limitation I told you from my side. Then see, when you have a multiple system image, when we have a hardware. Actual OS is working. I have never worked with this that scenario. That scenario is never like it's mainly validation scenario where you have actual motherboard and many this many OS are running and we are actually doing the SRIO transaction. Yeah, so this is something I have never done. Yeah, but if you ask question, I will I will see if I will find some expert in the market who can answer this question. But from the very single SRI SRIV overhook complex, SRIV over CPU in SOC IP, I have done completely. Completely, I have done an SRP same driver also. It means from the not from the software side, from the application, from the heart, from the heart means a system log is something C C plus plus only. I have written that. I will explain that how it happens, what driver does, and how is how it is written. I will explain. But you, the scenario is where you have system images, multiple system images, one SRP same driver. How handling happens? Something I am not still clear. But I will make sure somewhere I find something, some expert. I will discuss with them and I will answer those questions also. Okay. Hello. Yeah, Rakesh, I have uh, just one question here. Uh, as you uh, mentioned uh, that we can selectively enumerate certain VF. I mean, uh, 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 is there is there any use case like that? For example, uh, I mean, just uh, 
since we are, we have some like uh, you know initial we have num we have for total we have kind of uh, yeah, parameters yeah, don't, don't go into those details like i got it yeah just ask me i know like how it is done you just tell me the overall question you have correct so the question me, actually what? is it is it any use case uh, you have seen so far that despite let's say your your system has a max possible let's say 2k vf and mm-hmm. uh, and and uh, let's say there is only one physical function okay and uh, in that one physical function you have 2k vf and during enumeration i mean you will assign the bdf also uh, to those uh, vf also so let's say you you start with the uh, let's say assigning bdf to uh, one first physical function let's say the only physical function and then you have uh, 2k vf during enumeration is it possible that you only selectively uh, uh, discover uh, or deliberately you discover only half the vf let's say up to only 1k is it uh, any such use case uh, uh, also applicable Ah uh, yeah. So what happens is, a uh, PCI has given a clear indication. You can go up to sixty-five thousand VM. Now problem okay. is within the within the endpoint. Within the endpoint, what happens is, suppose I am a vendor. I am an endpoint endpoint custom endpoint card dev- like developer. I am mm-hmm. an I am an NVIDIA. I am I am representing NVIDIA. I want virtual function support in my card. So endpoint is developed by me. But when I implement and graphics card, I know how many functions are required by me. I know that. See, when you implement the graphics card, how many functions are required? You know. You know more than these functions are not required. Even though you have may so many images, you need this many functions only. So what you can do, you can limit virtual function to in virtual function per physical function to two also, two fifty five also, sixty five thousand also. It's up to you. This is what you can limit. So when whatever limitation you put here, that is where that that is the maximum driver will go. Driver will read how it does. Uh, it is a part of the SRV protocol. Driver will read the information that your endpoint does not support more than two VM. Driver will get that information and it will enable only. But it will just enumerate two VM. That information you can give through total VM. Total VM is something will tell you this is the maximum VM supported by the my my endpoint whenever driver knows total vf is 2 that means it knows i don't want to enumerate more than 2 vf in although actual use case is 65000 vf now let's so, talk about the other issue 2 vf it will enumerate but it, it will enable only one vf that is when num vf field is there it will enable one vf two vf it will enumerate it will still it will use one vf actual use case is maybe you have a system currently you have single system image now in the future you are installing one more system image srpcm driver will be upgraded and that will know i need more vf that is where it will enable more vf capability which is 2 vf it will get maximum enable 2 vf but currently if, even though it is 2 vf it can enable one it can disable one that is that is also is possible so as system scales up as you Im- include more and more images You can use more and more enable more and more VF per VF PM. Requirement is support should be given by the endpoint. One total VF fee should be greater than 255. Then only you can enable 255 VF. Otherwise not. Are you getting this point? So application yeah, is based yeah. on the uh, application is based on in the future motherboard is enhanced and driver is enhanced. That is where you require those information. No, okay, so uh, basically uh, you you are saying that. now you're saying this enumeration uh, let's say there are four virtual function only so out of four we have uh, am i am i compelled or bound to enumerate all four of those we have or can i choose no, to enumerate no, no. only you okay. can enumerate two we have you can enumerate two we have but you have to enable two we have only num we have field should be two only so in that case num we have can be uh, three four also or it should be uh, strictly starting with one and two yeah no It, you can keep four also, one also, two also, three also. Okay, basically, suppose there are total initial VF are let's say uh, four, but I want to enumerate only two. So in the num VF, I will give you two, or rather I will program two. But uh, that two is not necessarily be one and two. It should be three and four also, right? Yes, it can be three okay. and four also. Yes. How do you select that uh, part of uh, choosing only those uh, three and fourth index? Yeah, that that, that, that will discuss in the okay. programming. Okay, that fine. Got it. Program. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thanks. I I got my answer. Um, uh, thanks a lot for that detailed uh, explanation. Uh, uh, 
answer. Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead and look at the website. Whatever you want to look at and understand. If you have any question, ask me. I will answer those questions. And uh, OS perspective, itar you can go ahead and look at like multiple images and SRPC yeah. and something. I will explain and then you can then as we discuss in the future. You can go ahead and present, implement this SRPCM as part of your OS also. Yeah. Support. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that is that is my commitment. <coughs> how to how to implement in the OS? That is code coding wise. It's your the problem. But what SRPCM does and how what are steps SRPCM supports? That that is my requirement. I will explain you how it is done. Then you can propose a solution to your uh, manager, and I think if, if they approve, you can go ahead and implement also. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. okay, so we are done today. On uh, next week, we are meeting again at 11. Set Friday, Saturday, Sunday, both the days. Uh, we are we are continuing with from the next slide from the piece SRIOV. Once SRIOV is complete, we will jump to MRIOV. When MRIOV is complete, we will jump to NBMA. People who join late today can look at the recording and keep sending question to me. And one more thing, people who has not paid today, uh, they will not get the PPD. They will get the PPD at the end. So people who has already paid also. Can send me the email ID. I have to send the updated PPD. Okay. Drop the email ID in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.